Hi everyone, this is Chicho and we're in mid-January 2010 and I figured it was a pretty good time to do, uh, to do updates specifically for the language of mathematics. We are at the beginning of the year and uh, for those uh, who have been trying to access my site you would have realized that uh, Chicho.com is down. Uh, my hosting account got hacked at the end of December and everything got taken down. So. I've uh, closed that account and at some point I'm going to go back and try to restore everything for my site for Chicho. But before I do that, I'm going to definitely work on getting the two math websites up, right? So first priority for me is getting the math websites up and then I'll take care of uh, my own personal site, the blog, uh, Chicho.com. That being said, um, I did want to restore one page for the, f from the site, from Chicho which is the table of contents for the language of mathematics. Because as far as I'm concerned, um, if, if for any textbook, for any learning material that I've ever, you know, ever used, there's two things in any, any book that I've found to be the most useful parts of the book. Uh, the first part is the table of contents because I usually go through the table of contents try to figure out what's available in the source material and in, in the material that I'm about to study. And the other one is the index where I can find things fairly rapidly. So what I ended up doing was uh, restoring the table of contents, uh, sort of organizing it and I adjusted it a few things in the series, okay, uh, sort of move things around a little bit just to make it more coherent. Uh, my train of thought, I guess, changed uh, through the process. So I've restored the table of contents for the language of mathematics. I redirected uh, it, you know, the site go to go to my the chicho.com to go to chicho.blogspot.com. So I've restored the table of contents for the language of mathematics on chicho.blogspot.com, and. Um, it's basically the links to the video sort of organized in a coherent manner and it's linking everything to YouTube where the videos are available. Now I haven't restored any of the exercises or solutions or graphs and tables and stuff that were on the site. Uh, at some point I might go back and restore those as well but uh, right now just organizing the videos was good enough. So just to let everyone know table of contents is back online again and I'll have a link uh, in the description of the video as well uh, so you can just click there and go to the table of contents. So hopefully this will help uh, anyone going through the material who you know was missing the table of contents because again table of contents is super important because it's it's the way the information is being presented and you know this is my way of presenting uh, you know the math the math videos I think it's sort of the way, uh, the ideal way that I would teach math. So I'm sort of organizing it in that manner. And I will most likely readjust it again when um, the two math, math websites go online. And again, that's going to be, you know, a few months from now. Hopefully it'll be up uh, in 2010. I hope to get at least the bo both math, math websites up uh, for 2010. And once they're up and everything's rolling and stuff like this, I'll worry about getting my site back up. A um, couple of other updates as well. Um, if you were looking for the torrents on Mininova, Mininova sort of uh, gave into corporate media, you know, the BS, and they deleted all their torrents from their site. So the math torrents are not available on Mininova anymore but they are available on many other file, sh uh, file sharing networks including the Pirate Bay and you know I, I, keep, I keep track of them and they're, they're being downloaded and uploaded all the time so they're available for anyone that wants to you know grab all the videos just in case anything goes down or whatnot and you still want a hard copy so again there's uh, torrents available for series 1, series 2 and for the first part of series 3, series 3A For anyone interested on uh, um, on what happened to Chicho.com, uh, the short of it is uh, the quickie is this: my hosting, my account at my hosting company got hacked, and um, the email got changed. By the time my hosting company gave me access back to my account, it took them a few days. Unfortunately, I contacted them right away. Unfortunately, they didn't freeze the account, so nothing could get changed. So whoever hacked the account uh, at the hosting company was given enough time to change all the parameters and you know 
get rid of everything. I have no idea what got you know what got access or what not. So by the time my hosting company gave me access back to the account, everything was changed and Chicho was down. Um, you know, I tried to get it restored. I you know con you know talked to the host you know sent questions to the hosting company. You know they got back to me a couple of weeks later. It took a long time anyway. So. I've closed my account with that hosting company. I won't be going back to them, and I'm definitely going to try to make sure um, I go a little bit more high end with the hosting companies. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time to set everything up because I'm not going to go low budget, uh, especially with this stuff, because um, this is going to be a little bit more intense. Well, hopefully, well, no, most definitely it's going to be a much more focused and way more intense. Uh, uh, compared to what I had on my site for the language of mathematics specifically. And there's a few different phases that I plan on implementing in this thing. The first one obviously is get the websites up and um, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Hopefully everything will go smoothly and uh, we can kick in the next few phases. Okay. Again, table of contents, back up. Good luck with the videos. If you have questions, post comments. We'll talk later.